look so, very good. So, Alex, the day's finally here. You've been at the Helping Hands group home for eight years. We've been through a lot in that time. We have. And now you're finally leaving to live with your brother. My brother, Gabe. It says here he lives in Haven Springs, Colorado. Is that correct? That's a big move. Do you have any plans as far as school or a job? My brother said I might pick up a few shifts at the bar he works at. So you'd be dealing with people? Maybe. Uh, yeah, probably. Does your brother know about your issues? Is that an official interview question, Dr. Lin? Alex, you know that I care about you. With everything that has happened, I just want what's best for you. Mm -hmm. He doesn't know. No one will once I leave this place. I'll just be a normal girl in a normal town. The facial animation is great. The eyes look real. Real enough, I guess. I feel like there must be music here. It's so weird for them to just mute all the music. I almost want to just turn it back on, but I feel like then the whole thing will fucking end up muted. Gabe this said to meet him at the great. bridge. I can't wait to see him. It is what it is. Right and black seven? Yes, sir. Let's go. She's pretty hot. There must be music, right? There would be music here. It's way too quiet. Dude, it looks so good. Yeah, this is what I needed. This is so therapeutic. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like, I want to skip because all these shots are fucking gorgeous. Alex! Holy shit. That's really him. What's the protocol for reuniting with your long lost sister after eight years? 
I'm cool with the hug if you are. <laughs> oh, is crushing my ribs still part of the protocol? <laughs> It's just so good to see you again. I can't believe you're here. Believe it. She's all grown up. And I missed it. I'm a lot taller, huh? Yeah, yeah. Time will do that to you. Are you ready to see the town? Yeah, I'm just a little nervous. You should be. This reunion's being filmed. What? <laughs> uh, a joke. Oh, like what? This? Okay, the uh, Black Lantern is just up the street. I mentioned I live above a bar, right? Even better. How was the trip? You must be wiped. I'm good. The drive through the mountains was amazing. Eleanor, hey, Alex just got here. Alex, meet Eleanor Leif, owner of the flower shop, and honest to God, royalty of Haven Springs. Oh, it is so nice to finally meet you. Boundaries, lady. Welcome. Oh. We are so glad to have you, Alex. Gabe told us all about you. I'm glad to be here. She seems nice. I guess. Yeah, she's great. A little quick on the draw with hugs, though. Yeah, clearly. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Welcome to Haven. This is like a little storybook town, dude. Is that the pot shop? It's nice. Come on. Is this the first official stop on the tour? Absolutely. If you follow me inside, you'll find our prize exhibit. Gabe Chen buys makeup flowers for angry girlfriend. Oh, I can't wait. It's gotten so so reviews. <laughs> Hey, Gabe. Riley, meet my sister, Alex. She's hot. What's your greatest weakness? Uh, what? Which? It's for a college interview. We've been debating this one for days. Gabe insists that I give an honest answer. It's always better to give an honest answer. And what's the alternative? Lying? Not lying. More like strategic half-truthing. Like, I work too hard or... I saved too many puppies. They could smell that bullshit a mile away. I've been trying to warn her. Oh, yeah? What would you do? Must be I would be clever. Telling the truth only gets you so far. Yeah, facts. Oh, you hear that, Gabe? You're outnumbered. I'll never surrender. <laughs> He'll come around eventually. Alex, help me out real quick. What do I get for Charlotte? Sunflowers are her favorite, but I read online that Lily of the Valley is great for saying sorry. What do you think? What uh, exactly are you apologizing for? This time around, maybe the toilet seat? <laughs> what? If Charlotte loves sunflowers, go with the sunflowers. That's what I was thinking. You know, if Mac brought me flowers half as often, well, he wouldn't be Mac. Is it still on and off with you two? Sort of. More on right now, but wait five minutes and ask again. <laughs> Put this on my tap? Get a new yeah. relationship, lady. Shit. Are you sure you don't want to just tell Mac about the interview? No, not yet. I'll handle it. Okay, your call. 
We can leave when you're ready. Sounds good. Might as well have a look around before we leave. Mandatory for any enchanted garden. I hope Charlotte likes the sunflowers. The tiny house movement is really taking off. This gnome has been places. Perfect. That guy's bad to the gnome. Right? Jesus. I heard he won the Nobel Peace Prize. Oh my oh god, please stop. <laughs> no problem. You can make anything pretty if you shove a bouquet inside. Oh, no category for estranged brother you haven't seen in eight years because you were ripped apart by the foster care system? That's a shame. How to Kill Everything You Touch, a flower book by Alex Chen. Does anyone actually sit in the decorative store chair? Hopefully my advice doesn't derail her entire life. I'm sure it's fine. Well, you know... What if I don't get in? Shit. What if I do get in? Am I really ready to leave this place? If Riley's so anxious about leaving this town, I guess it can't be too bad. Aw, I wonder who they are. Cute, right? Yeah. Are those your grandparents? No, but they were like family. Alistair and Ava Murphy. Nana bought the building from them before I was born. Thanks. See you soon, Rai. How long have you and Charlotte been dating? Mm, about three years now, I think. You must spend a lot of money on bouquets. She's worth it. Watch your feet now. It's getting windy. My feet are fine. Well, here we are. She works in the pot shop. Gabe Chen. Flower delivery man. I know, right? Let me duck in here and smooth everything out. It'll only be a minute. I'll introduce you properly later. Once, you know. It's no problem, really. It's gonna be longer than a minute. Trust me. Oh. Hi there. Uh. Gabe's your brother, right? I'm Ethan. Charlotte's my mom. Oh. Hi, Ethan. I'm Alex. What you reading? Ninth Warden. Oh, has she found the Scepter of Serenity yet? She's looking for the scepter, but I think she'll need the bangle of vanishing to get to it. Sure. I'd rather shoot fire from my hand, burn all my enemies to a crisp. What if you're high-fiving a friend and the fire ring goes off? Risky. 
That's why you have two hands, kid. If you like comics, I can show you the one I'm making. I'd love to see it. You can keep it if you want. I made a bunch of copies to sell in the record store. This is mm. awesome, Ethan. I can't wait to read it. Are you going camping? You know the mines? I know they exist. There are a bunch of old tunnels all around the mountains. I think I found a way into one. Are you kidding me, kid? You should I mean, not do that. I'm not an expert on old mines, but that would scare the crap out of me. I just like to explore sometimes. It's no big deal. This kid's definitely gonna end up in trouble in the fucking mine. Oh man, I shouldn't have told you that. I know we just met, but be careful out there, okay? You don't need to worry, really. I'm pretty sure you're gonna end up I in trouble in the check fucking out mines. That record store. Nice meeting you, Ethan. <laughs> oh, wow. This place reminds me of the shop Gabe and I used to go to. <laughs> He'd save up for weeks from his shitty car wash job just to buy us something to listen to. It's crazy. Here I am, years later, still waiting for my big brother in the record store. Except this time, I'm buying the record. No way. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. Pure silence as she's dancing. Oh, uh... All the girls so far are pretty attractive. I wish I would have just left the music on. Like, Citizens fucking. of Haven Springs, that was the Wednesday with Bomb Squad. Up next, a very special request from some chick. Okay. Okay, at least it's not pure silence, because that would be fucking weird. Sorry, the store's actually closed right now. Which is confusing because it's obviously open. What? Wait. Are you Alex? That's me. Wow. Gabe's been talking about you coming since... forever. I'm Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Nice to meet you. So, all the way from Portland, huh? What do you think of Haven? Considering I've been here for like a minute, I'd say I'm undecided. Fair enough. I guess undecided is better than running away screaming. So the store is closed, but they opened it just for you? Yeah, what are you fucking you special, must be picking dog? picking up something pretty important. Yeah, well... You could say that. An outdoorsman's guide to the calls of that's common birds. That's the weirdest birds. thing you could have been in here to get. Wow, that's... 
The weirdest thing you could have came in here to get. Not what I was expecting at all. It's a pretty obscure record. <laughs> the National Park Service gave it five stars. <laughs> so, you're a... Colorado State Park Ranger. It's all coming into focus. Uh, sure. Well, bummer the store's closed. I was thinking of getting a gift for Gabe, but I'll figure something else out. I don't even know if he still listens to records. By what definition is the store closed? Like... Charlotte just got him a record player for his birthday. I'm pretty sure he put something on hold. So you don't work here? Steph won't mind. It'll be the easiest sale she's ever made. If I could just find the whole list. <laughs> Damn. I know I saw it before. Want to help me look? Oh, yeah. Any ideas on where to start? No idea. Steph leaves stuff all over the place. Ninth Warden. Hero of the Intergalactic Peace Wars, and friend to lonely children everywhere. This kid's going to the mine where they're setting off charges. Oh my god. I have to tell somebody this kid's going through the fucking mind, dude. He's gonna get himself killed. I hope there's a discreet way for me to tell somebody without this kid being like, you fucking told on me. I don't feel like reading all of them. That's pretty funny. Emergency guitar. In case of sweet jam sesh, break glass. Chores are an excellent way to learn personal responsibility, Alex. <laughs> I'm so hungry right now. Huh. Colorado digs its alt rock, I see. Shorty is in here. Just I love that town. this town has their own radio station. I heard a cat. Where is it? I did a report on Jane Eyre once in high school. I'd love to actually read the book one day. Wait. I'm not the only is one who the used to do list? reports on books I didn't read. You couldn't have curled up. I don't know. Literally anywhere else. I don't want to scare the cat, but I feel like if I try to move it. Valkyrie. That's one badass cat name. Don't freak out. I'm just gonna. 
Okay, just kidding. I'm surprised you got out of there with both your hands. Thing is, she's sitting on the hold list. We could use her toy to lure her away. If we can find it. Alright, yeah, I didn't want to scare the cat. Like, that felt like it would be a dickhead moment. I'm detecting an indie pattern. Okay. A seriously obscure indie pattern. Color me impressed. Now there's a radio contest I might actually be able to win. Perpetual motion. Looks exhausting. That's not how I would describe it, but sure. In these troubling times, the world could really use more rock songs with clarinet solos. My dog's up. Is it wrong that the note makes me want to touch it more? Me and this girl got a lot in common, you know. Every time she thinks something, I either think it right before or it's some other variation right after. Where's this cat's fucking toy, dog? Gabe and I used to dream about cutting demos all the time as kids. Never got there. It's been so long since I've played. In these troubling times, the world could really use more rock songs with clarinet solos. How do I get a rich Polish clarinetist to buy me things? Hey, bro, you in here even looking for the shit? Like what? Any luck finding that cat toy? Not yet. So, what's the prediction? What do you think Gabe listens to these days? <laughs> oh, <laughs> but I want to hear the response to either one of these. I'm guessing he's gotten pretty deep into the acoustic EDM scene. Isn't that an oxymoron? Isn't all great music? Well, deep. <laughs> well, there's only one way to find out. Let's see if we can find that cat toy. Maybe that drawer? It could be Celine Dion's greatest hits. You mean the essential Celine Dion? She is a Canadian treasure. Hey, wait, this is in Canada? This explains a lot. Mm, nothing. Maybe in the junk box. Huh. And we have a winner. Good guess. <laughs> Be safe out there. If I die a horrible cat-related death, tell Gabe I'm sorry. Who's the superior mammal now? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Good idea. Thanks. For a guy who lives in the woods, I'm pretty good at this customer service thing. If you say so, Chief.
bro. Should have known. <laughs> uh, sure, why not? Kings of Leon, I haven't heard that shit in forever. <laughs> Seriously? Gabe and I used to listen to records together all the time. We'd forget about the world and rock out for hours. You gotta tell me what Gabe was like as a kid. Any ammunition you can give me? Actually, he was a pretty badass older brother. He smoked cigarettes, which at the time I thought was awesome. And he somehow managed to get his first tattoo when he was 12. What? Damn. The legend only grows. All right, you're looking at 20 even. Bro, you don't work here. No, no way. I can't believe you're doing this no. again. Come on. Do you have any idea how much time I've put into this? You just... No, dude, I can't come over there. I'm working. <sighs> It's called a job. Maybe you'd understand if you ever had- I can watch the boost if you gotta get out of here. Hey, hold, hold on a sec. Are you serious? Well, you have a playlist, right? I think I can handle that. You're a lifesaver. Oh, no bird calls though. I'll be there, one sec. <sighs> Organizing a LARP shouldn't be this hard. Okay. I'm great, thanks. Just, did she say organizing a LARP? <laughs> yep. Beyond DJing, Steph's also queen of the Haven nerds. Sounds like there's some unrest. I feel in the so kingdom. much better now. I'm just getting a little bit of food in me. <sighs> Somehow I knew I'd find you in here. Things went well with Charlotte? Thanks to your help. I can't wait for you guys to meet. I think you'll be great friends. Speaking of, my two favorite people in my favorite place. What have you guys been up to? You know, talking about bird calls and bird call related media. This guy really loves his birds. Guilty. You know we're trying to keep her in Haven, right? Anyway, I'm glad you two met. Not only is this dude my best friend, he's the best guide to Haven you could ever find. And this dude hands me the best beers? <laughs> hey, by the way, Mac was in here earlier, and uh, he really wants... I can see why Gabe fits in so well here. <laughs> he wants to talk to you. <clears throat> he knows where to find me. Anyway, my shift starts in 20. Ready to go? Take along? I'll catch up. I got a radio show to host. Should check in. Do you mind? No, yeah. You were just there, boy. What up, Monster Slayer Thanor? Hey. One week to the LARP, you stoked? Hell yeah. Had a boy. 
No, we gotta talk road trips next. It's a long drive to Denver. Are we driving with Steph? We'll see. She's a GM, so she's gotta be in Denver pretty early. What are you doing tonight? Mom says I'm supposed to stay at the Lantern until she gets off work. But I kind of want to hang out at home. This kid is doing everything is he can to end up in that mine when it blows up. Do you, man. <laughs> but I'm going to check that homework later tonight, though. Better be done, Capiche. Capiche, good to meet you. No, yeah, I'm same. sorry. I got a rat on this kid. He's about to get himself trapped in a mine, which is going to get so somebody weird else killed. seeing you do the dad thing. Dad thing? No, if not him. no, 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 I'm better than a dad. I'm like dad plus. <laughs> dad plus. We trust each other. He tells if me I'm ever a stepdad, I'm calling myself dad plus. Ethan didn't tell Gabe about going to explore the old mine. He trusted me to keep his secret. Should I? Or should I blow his cover? <laughs> you gotta blow this kid's cover. Fuck. I like the kid, but he's definitely gonna get himself killed. The mine is getting blown up tonight, and he's purposely not telling anybody that that's where he's fucking going. Yeah, I have to. I'm sorry. Sorry, kid. Uh, I should probably tell you something. Shoot. Earlier when Ethan and I were talking, he mentioned exploring some old mine. Oh, man. He seemed like he knew what he was doing, but I thought you'd want to know. <laughs> this fucking kid. Yeah. I'm going to tell Charlotte. Just give me a sec. Ooh, Ethan's in trouble. Really? We'll see. <sighs> I couldn't let the kid just fucking end up in the mines when it's about to get blown you did up. the right thing. Like, it was going to be a whole thing later. I know it. What do you say we get you settled in? Kids are gonna fucking hate me now. So, this is what a mining town looks like. Thought there'd be more guys in overalls running around. With soot all over their faces? Exactly. What do they mine here, though? Used to be silver back in the day. And now? Uranium. They blow these big holes in the mountains and sell it off to nuclear power plants. Oh. Yeah. We'll actually be able to hear a blast later tonight. It's pretty intense. Dude, I had Sounds to tell. Like I had to tell, yo. Look the kid is. was going to sneak Jed. into the mine without hey, telling anybody to tonight. To and they're Alex, setting off charges in the mine Jed. tonight. Buddy, hell, Sorry, kid. You listen to this horse shit. His boss, he means. You on the Black Lantern. For the last 12 years or so. It's good to meet you, Alex. Heard a hell of a lot about you. Oh? Only bad stuff. Mostly lies. Your brother's full of shit. You know that? <laughs> he just about wet himself waiting for you to get here. <laughs> oh, did he manage to hold it in this time? Good for you, Gabe. <laughs> I like her. Me too. <laughs> I don't like you, though. Yeah, she's okay, I guess. Boss? We're I don't have in. a boss, nigga. Uh, in a minute. How about Supposed that? Supposed to meet Eleanor to talk spring festival Never did. Never will. He tell you about the festival yet? Not in detail. I'll fill you in later. Like, you do not want to get this guy started. I'm loquacious, goddammit. It's charming. Sure. Oh, before you leave. Loquacious. Word of warning. Max got that old bug up his ass again. Who's so Max? I've heard. Yeah. So, just, you know, eyes open. Who's Max? Anyway, you guys go settle. Alex, pleasure. And everybody oh, fucking got to worry about his attitude? Fuck him. I don't like him. Already. So, spring festival equals mountain prom. It's a lot mountain cooler prom? than it sounds. Not possible. I'm picturing some straight up wicker man shit. Oh, you've been before.
Bruh, today's Sunday? Why'd I think it was Tuesday? What is happening, dog? I Shit, thought man. yesterday was Monday and today was Tuesday. <laughs> this is all yours? Jesus. Don't sound so surprised. Wait, you're a bartender and this is your fucking place? What? Sorry. Let me try that again. This is the best you could do? Much better. Thank you. Seriously. This is great. And the best part is... It's actually yours. Uh, stream is fucking... I'm mostly staying at Charlotte's now. Go. I guess if you pause it and then unpause it, it's fine. What exactly do you mean, this is mine? It's this thing where people have places they live. We call them homes. Bro, somebody just gave me this spot? Are yeah. you fucking... I, would... I want you to have a fresh start here. Bro. Gabe. If anybody wants to just buy me a I... spot that looks just like that. Thank you. I you am willing to do just promise me you don't a lot of many different things for it. Why fires. did that just come back up? And Jed will kill me if that happens again. Sure thing. <laughs> Yeah, like, uh, I've, if, you know, I'm, depending on how you look and all that and how clean you are, sexual favors are not off the table them. for it's a just, spot like that. Uh, yeah. You look a lot like how I imagine you'd be. Yeah? Do I look how you expected? I honestly didn't expect you to have a beard. Oh, they didn't tell you? When you move to Colorado, you automatically get an amazing beard, a pretentious knowledge of craft beers, and a Subaru. Funny. I didn't get any of those things. You know, if I'm being worry, honest, both the male nothing. and the female characters look pretty Colorado attractive in this. <laughs> the graphics are good, and then, like, everybody has been pretty, like... I actually got you something. Pretty. Wait. What? Surprise. Wait, is this? This is the album I requested. I know. I'm good. I was going to get this for you. Well, I got it for you first, so I get the credit. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is the part where there's no music playing and they start dancing and shit. No need to speak, let it be with a beat. Make this phone piece, I make them leave here. Piece by piece, fuck me, fuck you. What it is, what it do. I've been ready since 81, and I was born in 82. How to go around from what we call that bitch the zoo. I ain't never trust a bitch. I turned shit. random music on. I can't hear it. I can't get over this. Feels just like old times. Coming true, young and do what young and do. Ball baby at home, phone again. Oh, no. by the phone. <laughs> Goddamn. <laughs> I can't. It's too late. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, hey. 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 Oh yeah, go get him, bro. Lifetime of practice. <laughs> I wish I could hear it while they're doing this. Your turn. Fine. Oh my god.
I need to download this VOD before it gets muted. This shit is hilarious. What? The stream froze. What the fuck going on? Hold up. The shit froze on my screen. What? What? Oh God. Everything froze at once. Great. I was really enjoying that. I oh, I kind of want to download the VOD right now. Shit, I gotta like end stream for that. Damn it, it's almost definitely gonna be muted before I fucking get a chance to do that. That was so funny. I don't know why, uh, I guess I do know why, but that's fucking annoying. What's this dude's fucking Can problem, Doug? Something's wrong. I read Riley's phone. I know you've been meeting with her behind my back. It's not what you think, Mac. Oh, good. Because I thought you were fucking my girlfriend. Dude, I promise nah, you got you it all wrong. you better chill the fuck Tell out, me dog. I shouldn't kick your ass ah! right now. No. Because you don't no, want to die. No, 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 not here. No, no, not here. It's not my place, man. You really need to talk to your girlfriend. I'm talking to you. Fuck him up. Stay. The fuck. The fuck. Fuck him Away up. Away from her. Away from him. Yes, sir. Pussy. Bitch. She is raw. Alex, stop! Stop! That's what I wanted her to do. I did not expect her to actually fucking do it. She fucked him up. Gabe, I didn't. It's okay. Fuck that. He deserved that shit. Yeah. Gather yourself. Get the fuck out. Yeah, pussy. Fucking psycho. Yeah, you're a bitch. Fucking leave. You could both go fuck yourselves. Or I'll fuck you up, dummy. I'm so sorry. Don't worry about it. Bruh, he deserved that. She's the best. I love her. Fuck. I love her. I wish she was real. Wait, Gabe. Alex, it's fine. I gotta go stop my shift. Damn, that shit was raw, yo. She fucking rocked the fuck out of him. Great.
That was sick. I'm okay. You deserve that shit, man. Came in here acting fucking crazy. I'm okay. I'm okay. Like, it's rare for characters to do exactly I what I wanted them to back. do. And that was exactly what I wanted her to do, to the point where I was like, there's no way she I'm actually does it. I'm gonna choose to believe this isn't about me. Jersey. Why is the dickhead gotta be from Jersey? That was intense though, like, I ain't gonna lie. Alex. Do I wanna know? Bitrate just got crazy, I don't know where for no fucking reason. Yes, I reason. kinda gave Gabe the runaround, huh? Anita and Eduardo. They were one of the good ones. Yeah, I feel bad for anybody who was in like the uh, foster wow. care system. Gabe's been looking for me for a while. Even if it's good, it's not great, you know. And it can also just be a fucking complete nightmare. I gotta check and see if something's downloading because that bitrate just got horrendous out of nowhere. Nothing downloading. Maybe somebody else is downloading something. <clears throat> so Gabe and Riley have been working on her interview, and Mac thought they were sleeping together. This is fucking. Uh, dude, stupid. I knew Mac was gonna be a dickhead just by the way everybody was talking about him. And sure enough, he came in here fucking wild and he, yo, I could not be happier with the way she whooped his ass. I'm really ass. happy for you, Gabe. Like, she fucked him up. Not even just like a, a one, two, but like a f seven piece joint. Gabe, brushing up on comics and art. Really going the extra mile for Ethan and Charlotte. Wait, what? Is that a real live dead deer? Foosball champion. Must be Ethan's. Wonder how many times Gabe's been forced to play. Oh, fuck that, Gabe bought that for himself. We didn't even get to finish the song. <sighs> Is that a sword? What an honor 
to be the sister of the Rubber Duck Derby second place finisher. Shoo shoo. No way. Gabe has this photo too? Look at our parents. Mom's healthy. Dad's only kind of an asshole. Shoo shoo reminds me of Sims just seeing that. Shoo shoo. Oh god. Shoo shoo's gonna look so grungy on this nice bed. She's gotten me through some hard times, but I was hoping we were done with that. Shoo shoo. Ethan's really talented. The tunnel to the monster stronghold hold of Demonheim collapsed? See, this would have been him in that fucking mine if I didn't tell on him, dog. He's dead ass gonna get himself trapped in that mine tonight. He's gonna hate me, but at least he won't be dead and nobody's gonna die trying to get him. I'll have to find another way in. The uniform of the city guard, long dead from the looks of it. Blood? The trail seems to end here, unless hollow. And he must have crawled through here. The corpse of a cloud serpent? It must have crashed through the ceiling. Perhaps if I can reach higher ground, I can find the secret entrance. See, like, yo, he was totally fantasizing about fucking being in that mine when it fucking explodes. Sir, I had to tell on you. The flying days are over, Cloud Serpent, but you may still be of use to me. That glow beyond the peak, that must be the stronghold's back gate. I never heard back from Sydney. I hope she's okay. Do I read all of this out loud? I oh my god, these are fucking a lot. Of... Hey Alex, what's up? You still at Helping Hands? Just so you know, I'm gonna delete my accounts and lay low for a while. I hooked up with this asshole a couple times for a place to stay and now he's harassing me. Also, I'm leaving Burnside. The supervisor is a racist and accusing me of dealing. I'll hit you up if I find a new situation. Honestly, I'm running out of options, but you know me. I'll get creative. Anyway, hope you're good. Is Lauren still there? Remember when you fucked her up? <laughs> I miss you, dumbass. I miss your dumbass, Sydney. So she's been fucking people up for a minute. Cool. I'm with it. At least she cared. More than I can say for most. I wouldn't blame you if you threw this letter out before op even opening it. If you're reading this, then thank you. If you're reading this, thank you for giving me a chance to apologize. I wasn't ready. I wasn't cut out for being a foster parent. The stress, the arguments, the shouting, it was too much for me. Especially at my age, I should have known better. I'm sorry if I made things worse for you. Good luck out there. Miss August. I really wish those meds had worked. Alprazolam. I have no idea what the Chelsea, fuck that is. The rare bright spot from my time in the group home. Happy birthday! Here's hoping you have an absolutely fabulous day and that you don't have to deal with a single shitty thing from sun up to sundown. Real talk though, I wanted to thank you for all the things you've done for me since we met. I've felt safe and happy and even loved when you're around. Pretty unusual for people like us, right? Anyway, thank you for being you, for being my friend, for the way you beat Harley's ass. Yo, she's been beating people's ass for a minute. That was not a first time ass with him that she handed out there. That was like, 
She knows how to whoop ass. For letting me wear all your clothes, even when I don't ask you, I don't want to sound like a loser, but you're basically the only good thing here. I love Chelsea. That's sweet. I think I looked at everything. Hmm. Whoa. Looks like Ryan turned my brother into a model citizen. At least I held it together in front of him and Steph. Broadcasting straight from your local record store. Because how fucking cool is that? That is pretty cool. Huh. They've really changed the art style since I read these. Charlotte made this? Gabe mentioned she was an artist, but I didn't realize he meant, like, professionally. That is pretty dope. I could never make something so personal. Gabe always wanted a bike like this. A mountain bike? I know I kicked the drywall crack when I see one. Looks like we've both had people trying to help us. I'm glad it made a difference for Gabe. Got your letter yesterday. I'm glad you're doing just fine. If you ever need a reset, come down this way because holy smokes, the food is great and the drinks are even better. I'll never get tired of hearing how great things are going for you. Some days I think about our first meeting at the detention center. I'm sure you told me to fuck off three times, but I'd never seen anyone listen so intently to every word I said. I knew right then that you'd outplay the hand you were dealt. Point is, you're the best kid I ever, I've ever mentored. Don't forget it. Let me know how it goes with Alex. I hope you can find her. Love, Len. Crazy how much we've changed. Damn. We've seen things, haven't we, Shu Shu? <clears throat> my journal. Time to add my latest meltdown. right now dog I am not reading all this out loud dog you can you can read along with me like we're in class Yeah, dude, Max a fucking dickhead, dog. Like, I don't know. Maybe what if our brother was truly cheating? But I don't seem like it's more likely that Max is just a dickhead than it is that Gabe is actually cheating with Riley. But then again, I just showed up, so who the fuck knows?
I split her lip open, poor thing. I wonder how long it'll take to heal. It's hard to clean blood off your clothes. It makes me feel wrong. I don't really blame her for being upset. She thinks I got special treatment at the home, but I don't. Doesn't matter now. She keeps to herself. Most of the other kids do, actually. So that'll be business as usual until a new group comes in and this all starts over again. The worst part, they confiscated my fucking guitar. Two-week ban. At least I get it back. Bro, once again, she's just been out here fucking people up. But it's only when somebody else's emotions take over. Dude, that'd be crazy. Like, I'm, I'm pretty empathetic, but, like, to have somebody else's emotions fully seep into you, I would definitely have to just live in the fucking woods. Jesus. She has had a fucking life, dog. I'm curious how old she's Ugh. supposed to be because she has had a fucking later. lot going on. Guitar. No fucking Just the graphics and well, the way Alex, everything looks. You just went so nuts and beat dope. the shit out of somebody in front of your brother. Yo, fuck that dude, son. So, how are you feeling right now? Why can't it? How is. I want to hear the song. God damn it. <laughs> this is so fucking awkward. I wish they would just have some kind of music during this. This is so fucking weird in silence. Just hear a fucking clock ticking in the background. This is so bizarre. What a weird choice. They could have put some kind of music there. Or at least just have her sing an acapella, like... I don't want to skip it, but I'm like, this is painful. This is weird. You and your damn surprises, Gabe.
Being here is too good to be true. I'm not gonna let anything mess it up. I should go downstairs and set things right with Gabe. You didn't do anything wrong, dude. That guy was coming, he came in here and was beating the shit out of your brother. And instead you beat the shit out of him. Like, sorry, bro, but that man needed his ass beat. Okay. How did he get this up here? I just want to see what this is like. kind of cool. You're gonna cut me off right there, yep. This is a pretty cool little game just to have as a side piece in the fucking game. Come here, duck. Come here, duck. Oh, oh my god. I just remembered the hash brown.
So that was Saturday that I had that? Oh, yeah. Thanks for the gangbang. Gabe looks like he fits right in. We made it. Nigga, we made it. Oh, man. Gabe used to crush me. Whoopsies. <laughs> Brian, just forget it. Stop that. You need to take care of yourself. Got Mac patched up. Let's take a look at you now. Oh, looks pretty nasty right about here. Uh. <laughs> so, it hurts when you breathe? Alex, you made it. Charlotte, right? I'm sorry you had to see that fight. What a terrible first impression. Mm. Dad, she was the fight. I'm taking Gabe to the station. We need a first aid kit that doesn't predate the discovery of bacteria. It's fine. I don't need to go. Well, Ryan knows what he's doing now. You just go with him. Bruh, he got hit once. That other nigga definitely needs to go to the hospital. Alex. He probably has a concussion. Soon, okay. okay. He well, got there goes beat my about the head my for a, a, a full minute. I love that. It's a falling star? Bro, I yeah. swear, everybody is very attractive. Or Depends on the day, I guess. So, what's the it The eyes, like, they did such a great job with the eyes. That shit's crazy. Wow. <laughs> I don't know. Some of the best game eyes Today's I've seen. been a roller coaster so far. I can't imagine. I heard Ethan gave you an issue of his comic. He obviously thinks you're really cool. I know literally nothing about kids, but he seems like one of the good ones. I appreciate that. He's my favorite person. By the way, thanks for telling us about the mine. Ethan's not allowed up there anymore. Yeah, no problem. I hope he won't be mad Dude, at me. Dude, that kid was gonna get himself did the right thing. killed, dog. The, special. This one's again. The there's notices that they're nuts. blowing up the mine now tonight. Said you're skipping dinner. He was gonna sneak You'll off to the mine tonight. I do have to get going. I'm making some pieces for the spring festival and they have to be done tonight. Sorry I couldn't talk longer. Oh, that's okay. So glad you're here, Alex. I'm looking forward to getting to know you. Yeah, same. Bye. Thanks for supper. <clears throat> yep. Venison and leek pie. Two things I've never had, so I have no idea. Oh, he's just hanging out here, huh? Furiously texting probably his girlfriend. I don't think we should go over there and talk to him, but like... So I'm short-staffed at the moment. I feel like the game probably wants me to. Gabe tells me you've worked at a restaurant before. A couple years experience as a server? Uh... Gabe's full of shit. I've never worked in a restaurant before. Never stops that one. <laughs> but I would love the work if experience isn't an issue. Want to give it a try? It's not too busy right now. And we keep it informal around here. Okay. 
Thanks. All right. So we have a few folks that need checking on. Ducky and Diane over there. Steph over here. Uh, there's a table in the back that needs clearing also. You can give the food orders to me and I'll handle anyone here at the bar. All right? Got it. Uh, we're gonna put, really nice put on a collision course out. with the fucking guy Thanks. whose ass we just beat. Guess I'm a server now. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Can I get you to anything? Miss Chen, here at last to relieve our suspense. Even the older woman's I cute. Reginald McAllister, the third, Ducky, to friends, former entrepreneur, now retired. And this young woman is Diane. Look at hey Diane. There. Hey, nice Miss Diane. You. I didn't realize that. Uh, that we all knew you were coming. Yes. Gabe is generous with uh, both friendship and information. You're from Portland, right? I moved here from DC six months ago. How are you finding the small town thing? However you want me to be finding it. I didn't really know what to expect, but it's kind of perfect. <laughs> it feels like a home. I know, I know. I really thought I would hate it. Then I saw the mountains, met some people, and now I'm never leaving. Diane is a geologist. Recently working as a process is she manager. A girl, cause good mountain. for you, my nigga. I'm glad there's another newbie around here too. Can I get you anything? Oh yeah, we're super hungry. I'd love a pie special with fries, cheeseburger with mushrooms, and my usual to drink. Jed will know what to do. All right, I'll go put that order in. Thanks. My dad was in the service. Hey, Jed. Yeah. I've got an order from Ducky and Diane. Go ahead. One cheeseburger with mushrooms. I knew it was going to have me remember it. That's why I came straight to him. Uh huh. And? One pie special with fries. Ducky asked for his usual? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he's fond of a particular rye whiskey. I keep a personal bottle for him. Oh, that's odd. I don't see it. Oh, now wait. I bet Ducky took that bottle upstairs last night. Yeah, he and Gabe went on carousing long after closing. Oh yeah? Yeah. Serves him right if you ask me, but feel free to go upstairs and look for it. I'm sure he'd be grateful. Oh, if you can't find it, Deputy Pike was with them. He might have some idea. He's usually in here around now. Probably arriving soon. A deputy's coming right after I beat somebody's ass. Uh... There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized whiskey. Typhon's not a bad company. Once you get you. Alex, right? I'm Steph. Hey. Just seeing if you need food or anything. Oh no, I'm good. Thanks though. Sorry I couldn't hang out at the record store. I've got some time now though if you want to chat. Fucking hotties around here, Doug. Is that record store inventory? <laughs> no, it's character stats. Do you know what a LARP is? Sure. Live action role play, right? Fantasy fighting in real life? Yep. Gabe was talking LARPing about a LARP is in everything now. Dog. Yeah, it's next week. They're coming with me. It's their first time. Hawkeye, I'm so excited. This... What else? Would you ever want to join like us some sometime? Some other obvious thing that had LARPing in it. Um, it sounds cool, but I'm sure I'd feel too self-conscious doing it. That's fair. Playing with the right people helps, though. So, are you, um, here with somebody? Or 
That's Ryan's stuff. Apparently he ditched me for Gabe. Oh, I should have known the fucking bird call out. Being a hero again. Ryan's always doing that. <laughs> it's a Lucan family thing. Have you heard about Jed's rescue? It was a big deal. Back when he was a minor, he said. I can't imagine. Alex wants an earload of Haven trivia just now. Sorry, Jed. Damn, Jed. He doesn't like to. Brag, Is it me or are these two flirting but stuff a little about bit? it all over the place if you look? Interesting. Is that your shot? What is that? This is bedazzled kiwi schnapps. No one's ever ordered it, so Gabe's trying to get rid of it with the jukebox game. What's a jukebox bedazzled game? It's like a short version of 20 questions schnapps. where you're trying to guess a song. Guess wrong. You have to take the shot. <laughs> Ryan and I were going to play. You want to take his place? Dude, you're on. <laughs> yes. Wait, I can't hear any songs in this fucking game. So, I'll pick a song. You have five yes or no questions. If it has me do this it. when I can't okay. hear songs, I'm gonna fucking... I don't know. I'm either gonna laugh or be pissed. And also, they have Got all one. songs I've never heard in Jukebox my life all yours. by artists I've never heard in my life, so there's no way I guess. So, what do you want to ask me? Hmm. I thought she I was asking me. I should through these and see what might be good to ask. people on the cover no yeah no does the band name have a person's name in it nope okay <laughs> Is the band name only one word? It is more than one word. Okay, hmm. two ruled out You've right off right. two questions left. More than one word. Oh, what wow, fuck. Is there an animal on the cover art? Uh, no, no animals. We're doing great oh, at ruling things out. Some of these are really cute. I know, right? Last question. Yeah, all right, I know. Does the song have a long title, like four words or more? Yes. Interesting. That's your five. Ready to guess? Yeah. Let me look through one last time. Here's what I know. The band name doesn't have a person's name in it. It's not a one-word band name. The song title is at least four words long. No animals on the cover. No people on the cover. Think that's enough to figure it out? We'll I see. I think I might know. Is it that one? No, it's not. Fuck. Sorry. All right. Glitter drank me. That sounds dirty. Glitter drank me? It's not as bad as it looks. <laughs> How was it? Her face. Let's go positive. It's actually delicious. <laughs> you should try one. <laughs> Hey, these two are flirting. You can't tell me they're not. 
You can't tell really me they're not. Really glad we did. Me too. I should get back to work. Okay. They're fucking flirting. There must there. be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized whiskey. I got written up for leaving my phone on. It wasn't even on me. But I guess it started vibrating in my locker. Starting over from duty. scratch like this? Yeah, fucking terrifying is what it is. You're telling me. It's a security me. concern. I mean, sure. Burr. But it's not like... My extensive wilderness map reading knowledge tells me that there is a whole lot of wilderness around here. The CIA. <clears throat> Guess I'm gonna have to step up my game. Did she just put that out after I failed? Chill. Ryan seems like a sweet guy. Or whatever. Hmm. We blow the tops off mountains for a living. Good. Wow. Tetanus anyone? I hope Ryan's got better supplies. <clears throat> All right. Let's see if I can find Ducky's whiskey up here. I s isn't it? Didn't I look at that? I think I see. No, 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 no. Oh, never mind. Ducky's whiskey could be one of those. This all looks really fancy, but no rye whiskey. Hmm. <laughs> That looks... no. Nope. Nothing. Ooh. Now I know where the ramen is. No whiskey, though. Holy shit. It looks like Gabe actually read this. Wow. Where the fuck? It wouldn't be in here. Yes, right? I kind of gave Gabe the runaround, huh? There ain't no fucking whiskey up here, Doc. Not the one I'm looking for. I do not see where else this could be. So we're gonna have to ask the deputy. There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized whiskey. They really want me to go back here. Don't they? The trails later this week. Are you kidding? I've been waiting for this all year. I have a few favorites we can start with, and then we'll. Go Maybe I'll see a circus one day. Once I'm better with crowds. 
Is there anything this woman can't do? Unusually personable staff? Nicely done, big bro. I don't see where else I could look for this. What a class act. Class act? How? Because he has a card? What? is nice just wish it felt like home hope we both get there soon glad you could fill in today venison and leek pie i need to try that the exact thing i pointed out yo shorty like uh, can you be real real quick so we can go out on a date hopefully you're like at least bi and not just fully not into guys shit now Mac's scared. At least he's not freaking out anymore. He won't make me lose control. Like, I almost feel bad for him, but he literally came in there trying to beat my brother up. So, guess what? 19 lives? Jed is a real hero. Hopefully you learn. Haven seems pretty serious about this festival. Dispensary coupons? coupons for weed? What a time to be alive. <laughs> exactly. Once again, exactly what I was thinking. How mysterious. Thirty-two. Huh? We might as well talk to him, right? Like that looks interesting. Yeesh. Glad I'm not a nineteenth century miner. Holy shit. Can I talk to you real quick? What do you want? Listen, what happened upstairs was fucked up, right? From both of us. No, bitch, I did the thing I was supposed to do. That is bullshit. Yeah. And you know it. I was defending Gabe from you. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, bitch. But Riley's headed over here. She's pretty heated. I, I don't think it helps. To recap all the gory details, you know? Bitch, you better go have this conversation somewhere else then, don't you think? Because if she asks me a question... You really are a piece of shit. Look, she's going to break up with me otherwise. We've been together four years. Bro, the second she described your relationship, I was like, you need a new relationship. And then you came in swinging at my brother. So like, please, help me out. No. I, I don't know, man. I know. Shit. If what she asked me any questions. What the with you? Oh my God, look at your face. No, it's okay. Don't even. What were you thinking? Where's Gabe? Why do you give a shit? Because my boyfriend just got into a fight with him. I swear. This is it. You better have a good explanation She should really or... break up with him. If I can help that happen, I will. I don't care. It's, it's 
not my fault. There's no reason she should I stay with this guy. I just wanted to guy. talk to the guy. About what? About you! About... why you guys are meeting behind my back. This dude's fucking unhinged. Okay. So, how did the fight happen? The bastard sucker punched me. Now you're just lying. Now I need to step in and tell exactly what okay. happened. Okay, um... Not exactly sucker punched, but... Clear it up, bitch. He definitely started it. Oh, God. Were you there, too? Yeah, he's... If he was slightly lying, yeah, maybe. Was but he's completely Matt's lying. telling you a whole lot of bullshit. He's completely lying, you know so what? fuck that. That doesn't even surprise me anymore. So what really happened? Riley. Mac barged in, accused Gabe of sleeping with you, sucker punched him, and then kicked him while he was down. Riley, listen. Yeah, she what needed to know that. Face? I fucked him up because he didn't... I did that. He didn't know what the fuck was okay. going on, and I taught him. It sounds like he deserved it. Yeah, he did. Thanks for telling me the truth, Alex. Yep. You needed it from somebody. Wait, are you? Are we okay? Are you fucking serious? He's delusional. I'm so embarrassed by you right now. But are we still together? What do you think, you fucking idiot? Yes, that's no. the appropriate response. He deserved that, dude. There's Alex no. Chen? Uh. Assaulting Mac Loudon on your first day here, huh? I'm Jason Pike, the deputy sheriff. I'm gonna have to take you in for questioning. Fuck you. Mac assaulted Gabe. He's the one you want. <laughs> Your face. <laughs> no, fuck Your you. Face. Fuck the police, oh, dog. Geez. This ain't no joke, pussy. No, I'm only kidding. Nobody's in trouble here. I... <laughs> Gabe and I just like to prank nah, each other. No, fuck the police, dog. All cops are bad. Fuck them. <laughs> Fucking idiot. I've... Never been pranked by a cop before. <laughs> you definitely got me. Yeah. Thanks for being a good Hilarious. sport. Can I buy you a drink? You can get the fuck out of um, my face. Maybe I'm working right now. Well, I'll be at the bar. You want one, you just come by, okay? Fuck you, idiot. <sighs> Fucking dickhead. And he's the dude I gotta talk to to find out the fucking drink. Great, great. Of course. 19 lives? Jed is a real hero. I would just simply not talk to him if he wasn't the one person who knows the drink the other guy wants. Hey, Alex. <sighs> yeah, let's get straight to the point. Were you hanging out with Ducky and Gabe last night? Who told? Who told? <laughs> so, uh, Ducky who, apparently who lost told? his favorite whiskey. Uh, Possibly upstairs? I don't know. You remember seeing him with it? Oh, when I left, he was still down here. Oh, but you know what? You should check Gabe's wall of shame. Might have some incriminating evidence. <laughs> okay, thanks. I will. I really don't like this fucking guy now. Well, I've got to get back to work. Later, Alex. Where's the wall? This one's from yesterday. Hold up. <sighs> it was Colonel Ducky on Gabe's couch with the bottle. I was just up there, dog. How drunk you gotta be to have a fucking bottle in the cushions? Ha! 
Man was up here litty. Found this upstairs. In Gabe's couch? Really? <laughs> Must have been a night. Many thanks, Alex. Put in a good word with who? Well, it's my first day working here, so oh. put in a good word for me, I'm okay? Like, to who? <laughs> She's for a what? go getter. Can I pour you a glass? Uh, no, no. Allow me. I, all the women in this game are very attractive. Miss Alex Chen, a most tenacious detective. To Alex. Cheers. Like, no skin showing whatsoever, but still. Oh. <sighs> I've done what Jed asked me to do. I should see if he needs anything else. Are you finished up with everything you want to do? Yeah, I took care of everything you mentioned. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? Nah, the boys should be back soon. <laughs> Speak of the devil. How you feeling? Not great. Not awful. I got Alex covering for you. For real? <clears throat> I need to talk. I'll be on the rooftop, okay? Okay. I think that's enough for today. You did great work. You'll be a damn fine addition to our team. You can't keep an injured man waiting. You better go upstairs. Thanks. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Two hour warning. See, the kid would be in the mine if I didn't tell. I had to do it. I had to do it. Time to talk to Gabe. It would be a whole fucking tragic side plot if I didn't tell. Because we would know he's in that fucking mine as they're about to blow it. That looks gorgeous. How's your jaw? Pain bad? Is he mad at me for fucking having to fight dude for him? Because look, Gabe, look. I'm really sorry. I... Look, next time you fuck him up then. Bro, why do I find the way she's what? dressed so attractive? I... Like, her look combined with the way she's dressed? Did you rehearse that move? No. <laughs> Only in my mind. <laughs> so, need a manager for your underground cage fighting career? Gabe, I'm really sorry. How many she really have you beat broken? the fuck out of her, bro. Like, on other people. Dude. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Don't apologize. I'm fine. Now that we're talking about it, I guess I never realized. That I'm a crazy person? I didn't want to be mean. No, come on. 
I never realized what your life must have been like. On, on your own. It was fine. You know, when I pulled you off the Mac and you hit me, I, I was angry. Wait, I missed that. What? Then I thought about how you took him apart. How did I miss her hitting him? Like you've done it before. That was exactly how I read it. I was like, this is not her first time beating somebody's ass. Didn't you go to juvie? Isn't that like prison? Yeah. That was the hardest time of my life. Some days I... I didn't think I'd make it out. But I get the feeling you've been through worse. <clears throat> I can tell there's something going on with you. Something troubling you. Maybe it's time you open up. I want to talk to Gabe, but what can I even say right now to explain what happened with Mac? He's the one person we can tell, so yeah. There's something off about me. I know what other people are feeling. I can see these auras around them. And if they feel strongly enough, if they're angry or sad or afraid, I feel it too. And then I lose control. this has happened for a long time like Mac I felt all that anger like it was my own I think it was pretty clear that Mac was angry it's more than that he wasn't just angry at you he's angry at himself He thinks he's gonna lose Riley. He is, and he should. Did Riley tell you that? No, no one told me that. I just feel it. You sure it's not just you know. It's not just in my head, Gabe. I promise. It's not from meds or stress or trauma or whatever. It's real. Can you tell what I'm feeling right now? It doesn't work like that. It's only when you feel really strong emotions. Oh. I don't expect you to believe me. No one does. So that's why you had to tell him, because it's like, this is a huge thing so to bond over, and you can't what other tell people anybody feel. else. Yes? You're like going inside their heart. I guess I am. Dude, you have superpowers. <laughs> Getting beat up and having no friends? That's a super curse, dude. Okay, okay, maybe superpowers is a bit strong. 
It's just... I have no idea what's going on with people half the time. I, I, Charlotte's teaching me how to improve my emotional intelligence, but this, this is on another level. You can get in there. I mean, that's... That's really special. Special. That's really your take on all this? Totally. I mean, it's whatever you make it, right? But it doesn't matter what's going on. I'm here for you. Don't forget that. So, when were you gonna tell me about the guitar? Oh, shit. You found it. It was supposed to be a huge surprise. You put it under the bed surprise? in the room you gave me. The ha apartment you gave me. Well, what do you think? I love it. Thank you so much. Of course. Welcome home. Oh, hey, dude, what's up? Hey, is Ethan up here? No, he was heading home. He was, but I haven't seen him in a while. See, we told, and he still slipped off. You don't think... Maybe. Jesus, he Fuck, still went he to the fucking mine anyway. It? I should have known. I think he went up to the mountains. They've been setting it up way too much. If he actually did. We need to move. Now. This is why I told. Let's go. And he still went anyway. This kid, just like all real kids, really is doing everything in his power to die. Ethan? Ethan! Come on, pick up, pick up. Alex. This way. Wow. Been a while since I was up here. Should I be, I don't know, freaking out right now? In my experience, freaking out is almost never advisable. Any luck? And touch base with the safety team up at the site. We're gonna postpone tonight's blast until we find them. Oh. At least we're not racing the clock. See, we'd probably hey. be racing the clock if I didn't tell. You good? Charlotte's gotta be losing it right now. Hey, she's tough. Always has been. Come on, let's take a look around. This kid. Can you imagine the shit we would have caught from dad if we had done anything like this? Hey, we're gonna find him. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Hey, thanks again for your help. Could have been a lot worse if you hadn't kept me in the loop. You're welcome. Of course. You're fucking welcome. I'm gonna go take a look around. Jeez. Let me know if you spot any sign of Ethan. Sure. I can do that. Bruh, it's gonna be How just like Ethan in his comic planning room. to get into the mines? 
Nope. 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 Super nope. <laughs> Something tells me those two weren't the best match. Yeah, I, dude, literally the first time she described the relationship, relationship, I was like, break up. The end. Landed a job on my first day. And then you met him Maybe and it was like, yeah, is still definitely salvageable. break up with him. And then he lied about everything. Ah, this is where the messages I was looking for were. Wait. She blocked her therapist number after? Wow. I mean, I can see why. But damn. Cool. A murder barn. Rough joke for right now. We're looking for a missing kid. Jesus. It's Maybe just like it's Julie comic. McNamara doesn't need your approval. My joyride in this will have to wait until after we found Ethan. How is the rubber zombie the least creepy thing out here? We're gonna set off charges tonight. Thank God Gabe got a hold of them. Bruh, I, listen, I, everything would be worse if I didn't do exactly what I thought I should do. Hey, bro, wanna get wasted at the old mine? The real monster here is under drinking. You don't realize until you're up close, but mining equipment is super murdery. It's pretty beaten up. Wonder what happened to it. Somebody's fucking skull got caved in in it? Probably not as fun to ride in as they look. Alex warned me. I could have stopped this. I'm such a fucking fuck up. Gabe cares about Ethan so much. We have to find him. Come on, Ryan. Everyone is depending on you. Ryan won't let his fear get in the way. I'm glad he's here. Wow. Once Ethan's safe, I'll raise one too. Imagine being trapped down there. Or, actually, don't. What happened here? Massive cave-in. I knew it was going to be a whole fucking Bunch of thing, trapped though. miners. All nearly died. Jed led the whole team back to the surface. God. Yeah, that's the day Foreman Jed became local hero Jed. And then Typhon closed up this site, basically bought Jed the Black Lantern. Huh. What did I say? It's gonna be exactly like his comic book. Bruh. Come on. Same dog. logo. Did Ethan base his comic on this place? Okay. Okay. If the wall is an illusion. Nothing obvious. Maybe we should. Notice anything? No shit. I'll be damned. The whole story is about Ethan's character breaking into I a monster stronghold that. deep underground. Sounds like the mind of me. Does it show where he went? 
Not sure. The comic ends with the monster hunter climbing a watchtower, which shows him where to go. There. The silo. I bet that's the tower. That's where he went. You're a genius. Yeah. Great find, Alex. Gabe, you want to take a crack at unlocking that gate? I'm on it. We should also be able to get to it through the processing building. If we can find a way in. Let's take a look, then. Okay. Ethan based his comic on this place. Bruh, it's exactly like I said. I know exactly where that is. Baby! You know? Wait, so... Did Ethan... Oh, man. I think there's like a side door back there. I don't know. I guess there might be. Give me a hand. Okay. figured that out from a comic book. Yeah. I'm going to try to get the lights on. You try to figure out where Ethan went. Ethan must have come through here. How did he get out? Have I got some good news for you? Yeah, like seriously, there's a dispensary up the street, friend. I mean, it, it seems like a slim chance, but... What? Kind of want to push all the buttons. Also, kind of. Guess I'll go with blue. Well, if that did anything, I didn't see it. Ethan must have gone upstairs. Pretty sure Ethan climbed these stairs. Okay, but then how did he get out of here? Hi, scary old building. Please don't collapse while we're inside you. Thanks. <sighs> Wasn't in the comic. Excuse me. We passed caution like an hour ago. This is it. Ethan made the jump from here to the conveyor belt? Oof. 
think I'll find another Bro, that way kid's through. lucky he's not fucking dead Looks in like here. Looks like Ethan climbed the conveyor belt out to the silo. Heads up! You figured out the door. Yeah. Turns out you gotta open it. Who knew? The wonders never cease. Wait, I guess I should check the window, right? The silo. We're getting close. She walks so slow, dog. And she has a jog, so I don't know why it won't let me jog through here. Ugh. Let's hope omens aren't really a thing. <laughs> Ugh. Worse than sleeping on the ground. So much stuff just left behind. This thing has seen better days. What took you so long? You never forget how to break a lock. It's like riding a bike. Okay. We're too nice, Alex. Thanor looks out from the watchtower and spots the secret entrance to the stronghold. If we can just... There. That's where he's heading. This kid is trying so ravine. hard to die. Shit. Let's go. Close? Think so. Ethan! 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 This kid, dude. Are you fucking kidding me? Ethan! Alex! I'm scared! You got all the way out here and then decided to get scared? Ethan, I'm coming for you, buddy. Wait. This kid is wowing. Ethan? You okay? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of here. How are you Just gonna- hang on. Mm -hmm. This kid is fucking tripping, dog. Don't! Don't, 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 don't! His fear is so strong. If I get near it... It's no good. 
This kid is We're determined to get himself killed. Shit. What about me? Alex. Uh, are you sure? What are you going to do once you get over there? You can't carry him back across that. Maybe you can make it across. You can't. Whatever. Remember how I taught you how to anchor a belay? Awesome. Show me. You okay? This kid, dude. Oh, the camera died. Yeah. Yeah, I'm all right. You sure? It's okay if you're not. No, I'm good. You know, I actually believe you when you say that. This guy definitely likes her. Alex, can you make eye contact with me? Doug, no I'm way tie her- I'm gonna rope around your waist. The other end is tied around your brother. He'll use that stump as a fulcrum to feed rope your direction. Follow? So far. Dude, if this is how her awesome. brother goes out, I'm gonna Doing be super good. absolutely pissed and I'm gonna turn Remember, this off. Slow is steady. Steady's fast. Piece of cake. She's so hot. Piece of cake. Hang on, Ethan. I'm coming. You got this, Alex. Go back! You'll get hurt! I'm not going back without you. You're stuck with me till we're both safe. Kid, this is all your fault. It's too much. I have to get him to chill out. <sighs> Ethan, I need you to calm down. Can you breathe for me? I should never have come out here. I was so stupid. Yeah, but okay, now okay. you're here and Focus. you need to chill Talk so to we me. can all get out of this. You want to tell me how you got out here? I was trying to cross to the other side. A log fell. That's fine. That's okay. Let's talk about what comes next. Gabe's got us. We're not gonna fall. He's got the other end of the rope. No, I can't move if I move. You're not gonna fall, buddy. It doesn't matter. He's not making any sense. Yeah, I what is his problem? To calm like, down. I mean, yeah, you fucked up. We can't stay up, here, Ethan. But, like, we have to. It'll see me. If I move, it'll see me. What's going to see you? You don't understand. He's right. I don't. I can't help him if I don't understand what he's afraid of. What the fuck is he talking the about? The only way to understand is to feel what he's feeling. Oh, fuck. I can't believe this is happening. I can do this. I can do this. I don't think seeing you freak out like this is going to help them very much. Oh my 
my god. What's happening? It's like I'm seeing the world through his eyes. I thought I could hurt the monster, but it's hunting me. Just making shit up, kid? Not just feeling what Ethan feels. I'm seeing the world like he sees it. So he's just making bullshit up, like I brought all about? this stuff. None of it will save me. I Gordon would it be afraid, but he's just a story. This is real. Okay. He's not afraid of the fall. He's afraid of. I'm sorry, dog, but come the it fuck can't on. can't be real. Oh, but it looks pretty fucking real. Hey. Hey, I see it too, Ethan. The monster? I see it too. And I'm just as scared as you are. But Ethan, we're safe. You know why? It can't see me. Bangle of vanishing, just like Ninth Warden. I thought that was just a story. Hell, some stories are true, like monsters. So, you're gonna hold my hand, all right? As long as you're touching me, you're safe. Don't look down, okay? We'll be done before you know it. Head it back. Keep tight on the belay, game. Not over yet. Oh, God. Okay. One step at a time. Yeah, buddy. I'm still really scared. Well, you know. Yeah. Me too. But we can do this. One step at a time. Okay. Do you think the log will break? Kid. I don't know. But if it does, I am going to hold on to you so tight, okay? Okay. This kid don't want to live, dog. He keeps looking down. Look at him. I can't go any faster. That's it. Come on. There you go. I got you. This fucking kid still managed to get himself out there. Man. I thought they were supposed to wait until they found him.
Damn, everybody was like, fuck that guy. <laughs> everybody was just conflicted about telling the kid's secret, but everybody said, fuck that guy. Everybody said, tell Gabe about the power. Everybody gave him a hug. People are stupid about the, yeah. People are so dumb sometimes. I can't believe that happened. I cannot believe that happened. Bruh. I almost cried. I almost cried there because Jesus. I think I'm going to stop there though. That's a good stop point. Man. That was unexpected and fucked up. I knew something about, like it. It would have been a wasted opportunities for his death to not somehow be tied to that. I want to see what happens next, but that's too good of a stop point, and it's probably, like, a lot after that. Jesus, Doug, that was insane. Fuck.